Inhale love. And exhale gratitude. Here's a Russian meme and free translation. Do you have a dream? Yes, to lose weight. So why don't you? And live without a dream? For thousands of years, Jews dreamed of Mashiach. In 1980s, the Lubavitch Rebbe, then without a title of King Mashiach to his name, brought this yearning and dreaming to a climax by coming up with the motto, We want Mashiach now. The dream intensified so much that many felt that it's about to happen at any moment. And finally, in 1991, the Lubavitch Rebbe joyously announced his prophecy. All matters of divine service have already been concluded and completed, and we stand ready to greet our righteous Messiah. We are therefore at a time when all obstacles and hindrances have been nullified. Since this is so, there is now not just the existence of Messiah, but also the revelation of Messiah. Now we need only greet our righteous Messiah in actual reality. And later same year, he announced another joyous prophecy. In these times, the days of Mashiach, in which we now find ourselves, we only need to open the eyes. Then we will see that the true and complete redemption already exists in the simple sense. These quotes were documented in Lubavitch Rebbe's latest book announcement of redemption, where he is clearly identified as long-awaited King Mashiach. For many it turned out too good to be true, because their expectations of Mashiach's arrival and the world being redeemed didn't match the reality they saw, without the red carpet announcements, worldwide celebrations and major media present. So they refused to believe it until today. How can you let go of your dream of millennium, which you mention in your prayers so many times a day? So you simply continue living with it, pretending nothing really happened. Actually something did happen. The day of Gimel Tammuz, when our eyes saw the unthinkable. And so many people say, OK, Mashiach came, but he's not revealed completely, and maybe when redemption began, but it's not revealed fully. So they changed the mantra slogan to we want the full revelation now. Because how can we live, function, exist without a dream? Did King Mashiach ever mention full or complete revelation? Absolutely not. But what he did announce, accept Mashiach by greeting him. I will repeat, not wanting but greeting, because you can greet only someone you know, not by guessing his or her identity. And he also added, to achieve redemption, God needs you to gratefully acknowledge and proclaim Geula here and now. I will emphasize, not dream it by wanting your expected picture movie to happen in some distant future, but agree with God, desire at will, and proclaim that not only the time of redemption has come, but it's actually here and now. Because wanting is still a dream, but gratefully accepting, greeting and proclaiming is pure action, and action is the main thing. The Prophet told us, have no fear, let's celebrate Mashiach's here. Forget the dream, let's dance and sing, time to accept and greet the King. Forget the dream, let's dance and sing, time to accept and greet the king. The prophet told us, have no tension, let's celebrate and live redemption. Enough to dream, wake up and sing, stop feeling good, long live the king. Enough to dream, wake up and sing, start feeling good, long live the king.